Hey guys, I'm Jiggles and welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is another Halloween tutorial. There has been so much unbelievable talent going around on Instagram this year. I've loved watching how creative people are getting. It's absolutely blown me away. So I'm super excited to be sharing my look with you all today. This is a super easy tutorial and is a great for a last minute look. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up if you haven't already and come follow me on Instagram and other social media that I'll link down below. But in the meantime, let's get into it. To prep my face, I'm using this Sukin Rose Hip Oil. So dropping some onto my face and then massaging it all through. Then once I've let that sink into my skin, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation in Radiant Beige, popping that all over my skin and blending it with a damp beauty sponge. Using a spoolie to comb out any product in my eyebrows, I'm then following in with Colourpop Brow Colour in black and brown and just filling out my brows. Then to set the cream, I'm going on with this BYS Brow Definition Kit, mixing the black and the brown colour together and making sure that's evenly distributed through the brow. Then to conceal and highlight my face, I'm using this Maybelline Adria Wine Duck Circle Razor Concealer in pale and just highlighting the points of my face. And with the highlight under my eyes, I'm just roughly drawing the shape that I want to create for later on. Then normally highlighting my chin, nose and forehead, blending it out with a damp beauty sponge and following that with a Face of Australia translucent powder to set that all into place. Then picking some up on this a large powder brush and setting the rest of the foundation and dropping something, God knows what. Next up, I'm grabbing this Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeshadow Stick in Witness White and using that to prime my eyes, using it as a base to apply the shimmer I'm about to use, then blending it out with my finger. To add some shimmer onto my eyes, I'm grabbing this BYS Shimmer Powder in Goldmine and applying that all over my eyelids. I could not believe how pigmented the shimmer powder was. It was ridiculous. And it's so unfortunate that you can't see it that well on camera, but oh my God, it was stunning. I'm gonna be using two main palettes in this tutorial. This first one is the BYS Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Picking up that black, and trust me, it is pigmented. So maybe do a little less because uh, less is definitely more. And what I'm doing is I'm just creating a new crease. So popping that on the outer V, running it down the bottom of my lashes, right into the center where my nose would normally be. Then blending it all the way up to make it look like I've got a frown and repeating it on the other side. Then I'm grabbing this Maybelline Master Bronze, which is this other palette that I'll mainly be using today. Mixing the two middle colors together and just working that through my crease as well as a uh, extending this little frow shape that I've created here. Blending it out with my finger and just repeated that on the other side as well. Grabbing those two colors again, I'm just trying to warm up the black that I've put on and just repeating the same step over and over until I'm happy with the way that it looks. Then grabbing the brown and the pink kind of color, working that on my lid a little bit Then picking up some more shimmer and just fixing that up in the inner corners. And then just blending all those colors together. With a small crease brush, I'm picking up the same two colors. So that brown and that sort of pink color and working that all the way down my bottom lash line until it meets the glitter. Then with a large blending brush, I'm just grabbing those two colors again from the bronze palette and just working that down just to make it look like I've got larger and more tired eyes. Then with a soft flat brush, I'm picking up the black and just working that closer to my lash line. Popping it in my outer V again, just to darken up this color and emphasize that shape some more. And 
Then for eyeliner, I'm using this Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Pencil, tight lining my upper lash line, grabbing a smudging brush and smudging that all the way through. I don't want it to look too clean, so I'm just smudging it all the way down. Then I'm running it down my bottom waterline, extending the tail out and smudging it out into a little wing. Then just going over with some black to darken it up. For lashes, I'm using this beautiful Glam by Manicare Lashes in 34 Alessandra. They are just absolutely stunning. Waiting till the glue's tacky, which is about 30 seconds, and then popping that onto my eye. Squeezing them together to make sure that they're secured to my normal lashes. Then following that with some telescopic mascara in extra black. This is just going to help secure the falsers onto my natural lashes and applying some on my bottom lashes too. Then with a really small pencil brush, I'm picking up one of the shades just to start the shape of where I'm going to start doing some extra details. So right now I'm doing the little hole, I guess, in my nose. So it's just tracing out the shape that I would like. Doing it this way where you're using a light colour first will really help establish where you want shapes to be instead of going through with a harsh black colour. It will make it easier for you to use as a guide. So I've also traced out the shape of the skull and now I'm working on the teeth. So just extending little lines all the way around my mouth where I'm planning to put the teeth. Going back into the matte shadow palette and picking up the black. Now tracing it that shape, making sure to be really soft handed with this. Because of how pigmented the black was, I don't want to go too harsh straight away. So just applying in small strokes and then filling it in, smoothing it out. And trying to bring it down just to blend it out. Then mixing the last three shades of the Master Bronze palette and creating a shadow underneath that. This will help blend the colours together and make it look seamless and flawless. So I'm just working that onto the line and on the bottom of that line just to fade it out. Then grabbing the two brown shades from the Matte's eyeshadow palette and going right over the line joining the black and the brown together. Blending that out, making sure that it's all seamless and flawless together and repeating on the other side. And on a large blending brush, I'm just grabbing those last three shades in the Master Bronze palette, warming up my forehead, then mixing the two brown colours from the matte <laughs> eyeshadow palette, and dirtying up my forehead, I guess you could say, just a little bit. This will help just bring some dimension into the face and make it look a little more realistic. Going back with my scandalizing pencil again and filling in the spaces where I would like my teeth to go. Then picking up the black and just separating them slightly, putting in some more detail. And just blending that all out. Next up, I'm grabbing this BYS waterproof liquid liner, tracing out my nose hole thingy. <laughs> just by using really small strokes so I don't go out of the line. This will make it easy to clean up the edges after I put this e.l.f. cream eyeliner in the middle just to fill it in. So just filling in that entire space. Then I'm going to add two little extra bits on the side to look like nostrils as well. It's like having a nose on top of my nose. <laughs> Going back to lips real quick. I'm popping that e.l.f. cream eyeliner in black right in the center of my mouth. Rubbing my lips together and darkening it up until I'm happy with it. Just filling in the corners just to create 
the little line and joining them in just to the edge of the shape we created earlier on the cheeks but being sure not to put too much. Then with a BYS liquid liner I'm just retracing out those little nostril bits just to clean up any edges and to make sure the shape's exactly how I want. Then I'm using that to fill in the lines in between the teeth, doing that all the way through the top and the bottom. Mixing the black and the brown shade together, tracing out the top half of the teeth and just defining that some more. And grabbing the three contour shades again and popping that right around the top, doing little circles just to make that, just to make some shadow. Then I'm pushing up the product upwards towards my nose to blend it out and make it look a little dirtier. Then grabbing my BYS shimmer powder again, filling in the teeth just to make sure that they're really standing out. And I love the way that this looked. Really beautiful shiny teeth. Then with the two dark brown colours again, I'm just extending the lines right up. All the way around. Then missing the three contour shades. Pulling this face. <laughs> and just tracing out all the veins and the muscles that I've got going on in my neck. Just to add some more definition. I think it's almost impossible to pull this face with, while looking cute. <laughs> just making sure I got enough contour on the bottom of my neck so there's not too many weird harsh lines. Picking up the black and the brown shade and then tracing out those, those tendons. I guess, whatever they are. <laughs> this is just going to bring the whole look together and just give it some extra dimension and detail. So then I'm just going ahead and blending those colours together and making sure that they're not too harsh just to make them look like natural shadows. I'm also filling in the area between my traps and my collarbone. Going ahead with the brown first and then I'll go in with the black just to make some more shadow and more definition. Making sure everything's really well blended together. Then I'm going to use this Australis Finishing Spritz. Set my whole face and neck and decolletage area. Then I'm going to pick up this W7 Glow Commotion Highlighter and just highlight the main areas that I want to bring focus. So right in my cheeks, right on top of that line. This will also help establish the end point. My chin, nose, the areas in between the contour that I've done on my neck and shoulders. A little bit on my chest even under the cheeks, just fixing up those frown lines, making sure they look a little better and that they're still even. Then picking up some more highlighter on my nose and popping that straight into the center. I'm just gonna get changed real quick. And there you have it, that's the final look. I think this look worked so well together. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe and watch other tutorials that I've created. Follow me on all my social media and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Mwah! Happy Halloween!